originally started with a uh, 12 by 12 out of plywood or MDF called a mill one. They moved into a long mill, which only came in a 30 by 30 size, that size there. This is MK2, it's our second version. So we've gone to, uh, rather than uh, aluminum angles, we went to extrusions on the rails. And then we were finding that we we're getting people, you know, not know how to do CNC. They get the long mill, they get good, skills level up. We didn't have anything for their, where to go, so they left our ecosystem. So it's like, okay, what about this? You can utilize it in your machine, on, in the lighter machines, and you don't have to worry about VFD programming or anything. It's just basically, you plug it in, it's PWM controlled, and away you go. We also sell these, um, control modules, it's basically, it's a Windows 11 kiosk, essentially. Any of the projects that we've released, those files are free, yeah. Okay. So, hit, so up the, hit up the YouTube channel, go to YouTube. Have you oh. seen my face before? Yeah, I have. So, with each one of those ones, any tutorial that I do, we release the projects with them. So, okay. in the description, there'll be a link to a, a, a folder, and I'll have all the projects and all the files. Okay. Smile and nod, that's the right <laughs> okay. answer. Smile and nod. <laughs> It's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, you know, when I bought my original machine four years ago, I paid it off with one project, basically. I had a decent corporate client that they wanted some big walnut charcuterie boards with their logo. Yeah. Did 12 of those, paid off the machine. So Canadian built, which is fantastic. Um, again, when you call in, you'd be dealing with Jay if you had a problem. If you're, you're probably not learning anything because you already know your stuff, but for the newbies, that's, that's my job. I create the tutorials. I'm always learning. You're always well. learning, yeah. I, I, so the Vortex is developed for our super, for our longboard, okay. for our controller. We're adapting it. Resources are coming out in the next, call it six so months. this is your own software? G-Center is our software, yes. Okay. We developed that in-house. It's free. The uh, starter bit set, which you may already have a lot of these, uh, that's the other one that we brought to the show. If you got the old long board, you can adjust the current. Well, I have it, but you got the super long board. I well, I have it in a cardboard box. I haven't put okay. it on yet. I'm watching all the videos and everybody. Oh, and just go for it! No, oh, just go for it! Stop! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Same program, same depth, but the taper depends on the width. You can kind of say, you need to go only to like one eighth of an inch or two millimeters deep, and then it'll create a flat pattern as well, and then you just get nice shape. There's so many techniques to doing stuff, it's crazy. So all our machines are designated by their cutting size. So this one's 30 by 30. We have a 12 by 30. Most touch plates are just square blocks and you touch off to the outside, but uh, Chris there is the engineer. What it does is it takes the V-bits or the tapered bits, you can tell because they're not symmetrical, like if you touch here, then you move to here, you're, you're not actually co like concentric. So the tip actually hits the bevel and so that way it knows where it is and measures out the middle of it. So you, it's just way more accurate, especially using these guys. It's, it's pretty fun. It's a nice hobby to have. And the, all, like, the options are just so endless. Oh, yeah. yeah. You throw a laser attachment on it. You throw a rotary yeah. attachment on it. And like, that's, that's where I think we're doing a really good job, is we're not just like, hey, here's your CNC, go away. I don't mind having my, my laptop in my shop. Yeah. If you look at the bottom of it, it will agree. It's sucked up enough dust to last a lifetime. Yeah. But dustless, Wi-Fi, USB, all the connections, and it will. We're gonna. It'll work with anything. 
We just upgraded the Vortex to a closed loop stepper too. Okay. So you don't lose your zero if something does go sideways. Right. Um, so that's a nice, huge bonus, quite honestly, especially carving that stupid walking stick. I was like gagging, hoping something didn't break because if it did, I was going to be up a creek. There's a surfacing process. So you basically turn any shape into a cylinder. Yeah. It's just to like make it easier when you're doing the next part of the cut, right. but you don't have to do it. And then from there, um, there's the tool, it'll rotate and the tool will go up and down to follow the contour of the dragon or whatever. Like on this one, you'll get a manual one, so you set the speed to whatever you want. Right. Never six, you never use six. Set it to dial three, you turn this on, and then you hit go. But often when it happens, you forget to turn it on, you hit go, and then you just send everything to the dirt. So you need a machine, either that one over there or the, the alt mill. The, the, this one starts at 1800, and the alt mill starts at 4000. Okay. That's not too bad. Yeah. yeah. And then the rotary, it starts at 600.